Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you one simple property of uh, finding number of non-perfect squares between the squares of two consecutive natural numbers. So what does it mean? It means that suppose the consecutive natural numbers are n and n plus 1 let us suppose and here we have to find the number of non-perfect squares between the squares of these two numbers like n square what all numbers uh, lie between n square and n plus 1 this we have to calculate what all numbers so for example if the consecutive natural numbers this is n and this number is 1 more than this number that means we can take any example like 3 and 4 they are consecutive in nature right after 3 we have 4 now what we have to find here we have to find what are the non-perfect squares number that lies between 3 square which is 9 and 4 square which is 16 that means what are all the numbers that lie between 9 and 16 so we, we know 10 11 12 13 14 15 these are all the numbers that lie between 9 and 16 and they are not a perfect squares right then they are non perfect squares non perfect squares so how many number are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are 6 numbers which are non perfect squares that lie between the square of uh, these two consecutive numbers square of these two consecutive numbers like 9 and 16 so <clears throat> will it be that easy to calculate number of such numbers between any two consecutive numbers like if I write uh, 13 and 14 let us say this is example 2 so what are all the non-perfect squares between the square of this and square of this so what is the square of 13 <coughs> square of uh, 13 is 169 and square of 14 is 196 square of 14 is 196 so will it be that feasible for us to write all those number that comes after 169 and before 196 not at all who will do this tedious work 170 171 172 till 195 who will write all those things right so here in the chapter of class 8 squares and square roots we have got a property which have eases our way of finding such non-perfect squares what is that just look at the smallest consecutive number 13 we just have to multiply this smallest consecutive number by 2 and that is the property 2n just keep in mind 2n gives the number of non-perfect squares between the squares of these two consecutive natural numbers and the squares are 169 and 196 between them there will be 2 into n this is n and this is n plus 1 we don't have to do anything with n plus 1 for calculating uh, the values the value so just take 13 here so 2 into 13 that means 26 there are 26 such non-perfect squares between these two numbers you can even check the answer uh, calculating it manually and you will get the result thank you